Joshua Mahoney joins me now, Chief Market Analyst at Scope Markets. Joshua, when the Financial Stability Report is out in the UK, it's a big moment. Markets will be analysing every word, as you have been, I'm sure. So give us your take on what this means going forward, interest rates in the UK next year. Yes, certainly. Look, we've come into 2023 against the backdrop of the Bank of England and the IMF really warning that the UK was going to be the problem child of Europe and, and certainly the developed world. That hasn't necessarily happened. I think it is the job of the Bank of England to warn of the potential dangers going forward. And of course, when you raise interest rates by the degree that they have, there are going to be risks. But things haven't necessarily played out in that way. I think certainly he has, he has alluded uh, somewhat in, in that package there uh, to the fact that really a lot of this has come down to in terms of housing arrears has come down to the buy to let sector the ability to shift onto interest only uh, for homeowners uh, has allowed some wiggle room in the face of higher interest rates that's not necessarily afforded to people that are already on uh, such mortgages and therefore you're more likely to see arrears on that front i think it's going to be very interesting as we move into 2024 and we're faced by pressure from the the government uh, for the bank of england to start cutting interest rates because, of course, the cost of borrowing is now so high. And we see the fear, of course, that more and more people have to shift on to more expensive mortgages and what that might do in terms of future spending habits. I think the pressure is going to be on the Bank of England to cut as soon as possible. What's your take on markets betting that the Fed will start to cut rates in March next year? Do you think markets have that right? Well, this is the big theme within markets at the moment, because if you look over the course of the past month, really everything's being built on this idea that the Federal Reserve are going to cut earlier and they're going to cut more often. Next year, they're expecting to see 125 basis points of cuts. That's roughly around about five rate cuts next year, starting in March. I think they're getting a little bit carried away. US inflation is still relatively elevated. I think we'll largely get back towards target in the sort of April time of next year. Uh, but the economy is relatively strong. And I think there's a big difference between what's happening in Europe and the Eurozone, where the economy is weak and inflation is merely at 2.4%, and the US, where the economy is strong and inflation remains above the 3% mark. So there is potential for volatility in markets as they reprice towards potentially a little bit less optimistic out outcome. Okay, Joshua, thank you very much indeed.